Okay, so I wanted to show this comparison between Ryan Krauser and Reese Hoffa just so we could see differences, potential differences with uh, the taller throwers here with Krauser, who's, what, 6'5", I think, maybe even a little taller. And then with uh, with Reese Hoffa here, who's about 5'10 to, to 6 foot, somewhere in that range. So let's do a first analysis of this. This is their start position. Left arms wound pretty well. Um, flat back, upright. Krauser's still pretty upright. Um, he has a little more bend at his right hip. Left leg is lengthened a little bit more than, than Hoffa's here. Hoffa's got a little less bend in his knee right side um, versus Krauser. Both of them have very similar left leg positions, left foot positions. Um, so if we watch here, Hoffa opens that left, right? So when Hoffa, Hoffa moves that left open, he's still just about to pick up that right as that left's opening pretty well to the center. Left foot is past 90 degrees. And if we analyze here with, with Krauser, this would be the, the last point of his right being grounded. Left arm's very similar to, to Hoffa's here where that left is opening to the center. Um, he's got a little more drop in that, in that knee, so a little more hip flexion um, and a little more knee flexion than Hoffa. Hoffa's more... Well, much more, uh, a little more upright with that left, like a quarter squat, where Krauser might be a little bit below that quarter squat position. Right knee, right leg's fairly bent. Uh, Hoffa's right is actually seems to be a little bit more bent here. Okay. Shot similar position for both of them. Now if we go to where they're dead on here, Okay, right here. We're starting to get a long leg from that right from that right side with Hoffa. Left leg's dead center of the sector here, left knee. Krauser again. This this angle with Krauser is not ideal where it's not directly behind the circle like Hoffa's is, but we can it's probably dead center, maybe a little bit to the left. Both of them that left shoulder is opening up, almost dead center with Hoffa. Krauser's left shoulder's a little bit past that left sector line both have the the long you know long uh right leg sweep here and that heels up on hoffa heels up on krauser let's go right here okay right here so now we can see we can really start to see left knees dropping a little more on hoffa Left shoulder, he's starting to get a little flexion in that left elbow. Krauser's left elbow is long and extended. Upper body, from that left elbow to the right elbow is about there. Krauser's a little more upright. Just a little bit more upright here. Okay. Still, both of them have that long, long right leg sweeping into the center. Let's go back to Hoffa. He's not as dorsiflexed as Krauser. He is slightly there, but not, not entirely. So let's go to that contact point. Okay, so contact point. What do we see here? Both of them are fairly upright in this position. I would argue very upright in this position between the head and that left knee. Slight bend in the knee for, for Hoffa. Much more bend in the knee. A little above that quarter squat position for Krauser. Now Krauser is starting to get a little more flexion in that left elbow. Hoffa's left is a little bit below his chest. So right below his pecs. Uh, much more elbow flexion. But I'd say they're both pretty similar with their elbow flexion actually. If we go back. You know, right, this is right where that right grounds, right here, okay? So both of them, when that right grounds, the left foot is almost past the right. Now, where is that left foot? Left foot's below the left knee joint on both of them, okay? So the left knee, left foot is below the left knee joint. Slightly on Krauser, more pronounced on Hoffa. 
Okay. So let's get to contact point with that left. Okay. So now if we see with Krauser from elbow to elbow, he's here from elbow to elbow. Hoffa's here a little bit steeper position for, for Hoffa here. Right foot for Hoffa's facing the back. Back here. Krauser's right foot is facing a little more to the side, a little more, a little more rotation from that right knee for, for Krauser. Krauser's left, his left heel's closer to grounding. It's a little bit deeper than Hoffa's. Hoffa's left is not as deep as uh, as Krauser here. Let's get where they're right inside that that right sector. Let's go right here. Okay, so right here we can see a little more extension from the right knee for Hoffa versus Krauser. Krauser's left is not as extended here as Hoffa's left is. Shoulder, shoulder and elbow are high. The gut is starting to really face the sector. Left knee is, is pretty similar for both of these, except Hoffa's left heel there, um, his left heel is, is flexed instead of being, instead of being extended there, um, versus Krauser's who's, who's, Left heel is almost completely grounded. Now let's go to the revert the the finish point here. Okay, so a shot just left his hand. He's up off of his left a little bit early. So if we go, let's go to the last position here. Okay, so on this point here, Krauser's just about to get that shot out of his hand. Hoffa still has a shot in his hand and his left is up a little bit earlier. So that's where we could sit there and say, okay, there's, he's, Hoffa's a little bit jumpier in comparison to, to Krauser here. Okay. Right knee is still bent. Right knee is still bent. Right hip is through. Right hip is through. Left arm's longer. Left arm is flexed a bit more here. Now, if we go, what I want to pay attention to is right Right here is where Hoffa's left foot is. Where does he reverse? Right to where his left foot was. So he's transferring that energy well, working forward. He reverses, and when he reverses, he kicks that leg all the way back into the center of the circle. Okay. Now, if we compare the reverses, Hoffa reverses, that heel's pretty high. Krauser reverses, that heel stays low even on the full reverse back through. So Krauser's got a little bit more control, and I believe that he's got a little bit more control because he's holding the ground a little bit longer here. But the, the key principles for both of these throws is that we can we can analyze and go back and watch where Krauser comes through. They're both tall, or they're both taller, just above, they're above 90 degrees. They both have a long right leg sweep. They come down, they're not extending off that left knee. Left knee is bent. Left foot is lower than the left knee. They're holding this position in the middle. You know, that's another factor here. Is they're, they're both holding this position long in the middle. So the principles are the same. It's just we, we've got to keep focusing on what are the principles of these technical models. It's not about the size of the individual.